Hey there YouTubers. All right, so in this video, I'm going to hopefully show you how to shut off Turbo Boost. If for whatever reason you happen to want to do that, it does uh, consume, I'm thinking, about 50% of the power, at least from what I have seen in other motherboards. And this is for uh, that motherboard there. Uh, maybe the same steps for other Asus motherboards. So, one thing to check out. Now, if you don't already have Intel's extreme tuning utility um, Though this is really not recommended for the CPU. You see it's all K type processors and X uh, This will give you some valuable information. So I'm going to go ahead and install it and the reason I'm going to show this to you is uh, before you even go into the BIOS you can see if turbo lock is actually uh, excuse me You can see if Turbo Boost is installed. I called it Turbo Lock. And so I'm going to install this and then uh, we'll take a look at it. All right, so we've got the program installed now and it did have to go through a reboot. And a couple things I want to show you in this program when it pulls up. All right, so when we first go into the program, we're going to come over here to cores. I'm going to click I agree. And then what I wanted to show you was there are your multipliers in case you want to know that. Now, to tell if uh, Turbo Boost is enabled or not, there's a couple of uh, places. One is right here, which I can't do anything to it. All right. And then over here, it also shows you it's enabled. So if we want to disable it, we've got to do that in the BIOS. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and restart the computer. See, we're restarting. And then I'm going to start clicking on the delete key. Pounding on it. And you see at the bottom of the screen, delete or F2. And now we're in the BIOS, okay? All right, so we come into the BIOS. Uh, usually I believe it's on main when it comes in here. What you wanna do is click on advanced over here. And I apologize for not doing this with a capture card. I have uh, had issues with the last two, so we had to send this uh, last one back. Where you wanna go after you click on advanced is CPU configuration. And then you will scroll down and uh, you want to find power management control and get it open. And in here, guess what? There is turbo mode and it is currently set to enabled. We're going to disable it. And we have to exit. We'll go up here and exit and save changes reset and it tells you what you did right there okay so I'm gonna let it reset and then we'll go back in uh, to the tuning utility and you'll see it's been disabled all right so once again we went in here we clicked on core and you'll see two places right there disabled and over here it's been disabled now what I'm gonna do is show you uh, the power usage in Fortnite all right, so as the new season loads up, you see the uh, the wattage is right. Oh, it's moving, jumping all over the place. So obviously um, this is gonna be dependent on your CPU usage. And uh, so right now we're at 20 watts. Uh, we're at the load, one of the loading screens. And normally this, is, this would be higher, so um, you do see a significant reduction in uh, power usage by shutting off the turbo. Now, where would you find this useful? Possibly if you're just surfing the internet and not doing anything really uh, where you need that extra horsepower. Uh, you could, you know, save uh, some pennies on the dollar, basically, I guess you'd say, by... Uh, turning on turbo so 
or turning it off. All right, so there you go, folks. There is the uh, the wattage, and you can see it's uh, quite a bit less than the uh, 65 watt TDP. Uh, of course, if I get into playing the game and we take this CPU usage uh, closer to 100%, that will go up. But as long as it stays low, this is going to stay low. Now, where might you use this? I would say if you're just surfing the internet and you have absolutely uh, no need for all the the power that this i3-10-100 has or or one of the others, the i3-10-7, i7-10-700 that I have uh, might be you know useful to, to cut back a little on the wattage uh, to do that. And in the long run, maybe you save some money. Now you saw it was it was relatively easy to do. So you saw it was pretty easy to do. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.